After Secretary Albright's historic visit, Aung San Suu Kyi was nearly killed outside the town of De Payen when government-backed thugs launched a brutal attack on her motorcade in 2003. An estimated 70 members of her convoy were murdered and more were injured. Aung San Suu Kyi was arrested and held in secret detention. Three months later, she was returned to house arrest for the third time, where she has remained ever since. Following this massacre, President Bush signed legislation banning the import of Burmese products to the United States and issued an order freezing the assets of senior Burmese officials. The U.S. government tightened sanctions last fall and in recent months, blocking the property of over 30 individuals and their companies who were providing financial support to Burma's violent regime. In addition, the U.S. has continued to provide support for efforts to promote democratic reform and human rights in Burma. These me measures have sent a clear signal to the people of Burma that the United States stands with them in their struggle for democracy and freedom. It is now my pleasure to introduce a woman who has been a powerful voice on behalf of Aung San Suu Kyi and the people of Burma. Last year, she made a special effort to come to the United States Senate to join Senator Feinstein and me to announce the Senate Women's Caucus on Burma. In 2006, she, ho she gathered experts in a roundtable discussion at the UN General Assembly to raise awareness of the crisis facing the people of Burma. In interviews, speeches, editorials, and statements, she continues to focus the world's attention on the brutality of Burma's ruling junta and Aung San Suu Kyi's peaceful efforts to bring about a democratic transition. Here tonight to present the award to Charm Tong on behalf of the women of Burma, please welcome the First Lady of the United States, Laura Bush. Thank you very much, Senator Hutchison. Tonight, we pay tribute to the people of Burma, especially the women, who have inspired the world with their grace and courage in the face of brutality. For nearly 20 years, Burma's military regime has crushed peaceful dissent and jailed thousands of political prisoners. Aung San Suu Kyi, the head of the democratically elected National League for Democracy, has spent more than 12 years under house arrest since 1989. When a 500% spike in regime, regime controlled gas prices led to protest last September, the junta responded with a force that shocked the world. Unarmed monks who led the demonstrations were beaten, arrested, and killed. Bullets were sprayed into crowds of peaceful protesters, and thousands were imprisoned under shameful conditions. Arrest and beatings of peaceful activists continue today, and demonstrators remain incarcerated. Tonight, we join Vital Voices in honoring the women of Burma for their courage in the fight for democracy and basic human rights. Aung San Suu Kyi is not alone in her vision. We recognize women like Susu Nwe, a labor activist jailed for participating in September's Saffron Revolution. Nilar Tain forced to leave her newborn child to hide from military persecutors. And the more than 100 brave dissidents still missing are imprisoned because they chose to raise their voices. We stand with each of them. Receiving the award on behalf of the women of Burma is Chum Tong. Chum's parents put her in an orphanage in Thailand at the age of six to protect her from violence in the Shan region of Burma. She grew up among refugees from her homeland. At the age of 17, she stood before the United Nations Commission on Human Rights to describe the military campaign being carried out against her people. She spoke unflinchingly 
of rape and abuse, though her audience included representatives of the regime she condemned. She co-founded the Shawn Women's Action Network. Their 2002 report, License to Rape, opened the world's eyes by documenting the rape of more than 600 women by Burmese troops. She's also established a school for Shawn State youth who have fled Burma, but who are denied access to refugee camps in Thailand. The students call her a candle in the dark. For her part, she says, the regime does not want the world to know what's happening to the people, but our women's voices will be heard. A second recipient was unable to be here tonight. Ken Omar is one of the strongest voices against Burma's violent regime. As arrests and crackdowns on dissidents continue, she felt she must miss tonight's gala to continue her work. For their determination to expose the oppression of the Burmese people and for courageously raising their vital voices in defense of democracy, Vital Voices is proud to honor Chom Tong and the women of Burma. Thank you very much and good evening. I'm truly honored to be here today and to receive and accept the award on behalf of the women of Burma. The brave women who continue to struggle to fight injustice and fighting for democracy in Burma every day, in particularly Dong San Suu Kyi. She has remained under strict house arrest since she was attacked by the Burmese military troops in, 19, uh, in May 2003. This award will surely strengthen the courage of these women to resist Burma's military regime, which is continued to hand down and arrest the women and activists who involved in September uprising during the Sufferan Revolution last year. Nuns and women activists such as Susu Noi and Mimi are now in prison and their health is a source of great concern, and Nila Ten is still on the run. This award honors the spirit of the people of Burma resisting military rule. Now it is a very crucial time. Next month, the military regime will stage a sham referendum in which they will force people to vote yes to continue military rule, in spite of their very systematic abuse of fundamental of human rights especially in the ethnic areas. However, the people of Burma have publicly expressed their desire to vote no. This award validates our determination to reject the military rule, and I urge all of you here today and all the rest of the international community to continue to support our struggle for human rights, peace, and democracy in Burma. Thank you. <laughs> 